I'm Dr. Lisa Allmiller from House Paul's Mobile Veterinary Service. And if you're watching this video, your veterinarian probably uh, suggested that you give injections at home. There's a few situations where you'll have to give injections at home. Sometimes you need to give B12 shots, sometimes you need to give insulin, sometimes you need to give um, Adequan, which is a joint supplement. There's many different things that your vet may request that you do at home. So today I'm just gonna go over how to draw up a shot and administer a shot so that you're not nervous when you do it on your own. So the first thing is you want to make sure you have your syringe. Sometimes they'll give you a 1 ml skinny syringe. Sometimes they'll give you a 3 ml fatter syringe. You may also have an insulin syringe. Um, most of the syringes come in packages. First thing you're going to do is open the package. And I like to make sure the needle's on tight. So I usually do a little twist to make sure the needle's on tight. Open your plastic. Make sure your needle's nice and tight. Uh, the next biggest mistake people make is they try to put the injection in and they're like, I'm not getting anything out. To get something out, you have to turn the, the bottle upside down so the fluid gets pulled down from gravity. You're going to put the needle straight in and pull the medicine out. Okay. Sometimes you'll have an air bubble in there. It doesn't really matter for sub-Q injections or IM injections. Air bubbles are really important for IV injections. So don't worry about air bubbles. You can avoid an air bubble by pulling up more than you need and then squirting it back into the bottle. Um, when you recap your needle, you have to be very careful to recap it straight. If you go to the side, you can go through the cap and puncture your finger. So be careful when you're recapping. Now we're ready to give our shot. Poodle. This is our lovely poodle, Vanna Poodle. Okay, so when you give a shot, the best place to give a sub-Q shot is actually over the thorax, the sides of the body. The reason that is is because it gets absorbed quicker, there's less fat. Poodle's actually very skinny, so I think we could go pretty much anywhere. A lot of vets will actually teach you as well to go up between the shoulder blades. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull up the skin wherever you want, pull up the skin, and you're going to make a tent like you're going camping. Use your finger to feel the space there and make sure you're not going to hit anything. You're not hitting your finger, you're not hitting any muscle, you're not hitting any, anything other than just empty space. Then you're going to take your needle, cap off. You don't want to keep your finger on the plunger. If you keep your finger on the plunger, you're going to misfire. So you're going to hold up your tent like you're going camping, and then you're going to, in, you're going to use your middle finger to make sure you're not hitting anything, and then you're going to insert your needle and inject. That's it. When you're done, you can actually throw away this part of the syringe you can throw away. This can go in the trash. That's totally legal. The part that's not legal is the needle. The needle should go into a coffee can and next time you see your vet, they can dispose of it for you properly. Good luck.